Here it is. This little building is a $2 million bathroom. $2 million? I had to check it out. I was expecting gold-plated fixtures. It's just a toilet, couple urinals, two sinks, $2 million? Do the people who use this park know what taxpayers paid for their bathroom? What should something like this cost? Um, a couple thousand. 70,000? Approximately 100,000, maybe. Or maybe. They spent $2 million. For this? Unbelievable. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you could buy a nice house here for $2 million. That price, yeah. You could buy a big house here. You can. This nearby house was advertised for much less. It has six bedrooms. In the millions for this? This is ridiculous. Where does the money go? Good question. Everything costs more when government builds it. Washington, D.C.'s visitor center was supposed to cost $265 million. It ended up costing $600 million. The Veterans Affair Medical Center near Denver was projected to cost $590 million. Now they estimate $1.7 billion. Government spends more because every decision is tied up in endless rules. Minority outreach, wheelchair access, zoning rules, and much more. Your department puts out a statement. The current estimate to build a new bathroom is $3 million. It is now approaching, in some cases, going over $3 million. Mitchell Silver is New York's Parks Commissioner. This is the most expensive market in the world. So $2 million was a good deal here? $2 million was a good deal. Uh, we build these uh, conference stations to last. But you can buy whole houses for in that neighborhood for less than what you spent on this bathroom. I hear that point often, and if you look at the material that we use compared to a home, these are very, very durable material. That's nice, but this bathroom is made of durable materials too. It's so beautiful that a newspaper said it might be the fanciest in New York, yet it cost one-fifth as much. Why? Well, it's in nearby Bryant Park, and Bryant Park is privately managed. Bryant Park built one with just as many sinks and toilets for a fifth the price. Bryant Park did a renovation. When we build our conference stations, we do it from the ground up. But why? Why they knock down the old one? It just looks the same thing. Commissioner Silver says this has to be especially sturdy because... We're gonna expect thousands, if not hundreds and thousands of visitors in that facility over its life cycle. But privately run Bryant Park gets more use. No comparison. It's so busy, people wait in line to get in. Yet another reason government work costs more is that government pays more. We pay prevailing wage, so we... Prevailing wage. Prevailing wage. Uh, union wage. This is a city that does believe strongly in labor, and they want to make sure that people get paid a prevailing wage. Prevailing wage turns out to mean union wages. Sometimes more than $100 an hour. That makes everything cost more. And when we watched, the workers didn't seem to work very hard. The final reason this costs so much is that it took years to build it. It took less time to build the Empire State Building. We've now saved five months out of what used to be four years, five years for a project. We're now doing them three years, in some cases under. So we've shaved five Whoop years off. do So instead of five years, yeah. it's four and a half years? That's still terrible. No, actually, we're three years, and now we just finished one of our projects in under three years. Why does it take you three years to build a bathroom? We have a process that includes design, procurement, and construction. But so does the private sector. Uh, ours, because it's a public project, we believe very strongly in engaging the public. Engaging the public means things like the city planning department's uniform land use review procedure. Try doing something quickly while following these rules. Clearly, private sector does not have to go through that same process. This is a good thing, the public process, all these meetings? Oh, yes, it's a good thing. <laughs> That's a ridiculous amount of money. <laughs> One little building, $2 million. That's government at work.